Hello, beautiful people, and welcome to your reading. I'm Clarity Bay. I'm a psychic tarot intuitive, and I'm dedicated to answering the questions that are most important to you. And in your reading, I'm going to give you clear insight on some important things that you must know about your love life in 2023. I will give to you everything that spirit shares with me and not leave anything out. Please take one moment to click that like and subscribe button. Hit that bell notification so that you do not miss an important video message. Let's get into your reading. Meditate here on the three piles and pick the one that calmly draws you the most. This would be one, two, and three. Let's get straight into your reading. Hello, beautiful number one, and welcome to your reading. I'm Clarity Bay. I'm a psychic tarot intuitive, and I'm dedicated to answering the questions that are most important to you. And in your reading, I'm going to give you some important information about your love life in 2023. The person you will connect with, what type of events could take place, whatever spirit gives to me, I will share with you and not leave anything out. Please take one moment to click that like and subscribe button. Hit that bell notification so that you do not miss an important video message. Let's get into your reading. So I can clearly see here that your energy, it naturally attracts you here to the gorgeous rose quartz crystal. And with this being your crystal of choice, this is very good because this rose quartz, it represents the heart chakra. And this is very good for raising your vibration and allowing more unconditional love. The rose quartz is considered the heart crystal. So let's get into your card. And you're attracted here to sing. So with the same card first coming out, I can definitely see that your love life will be quite harmonious in 2023. So it's going to be a very nice, a very smooth. So the relationship will be one that is very comparable with you, someone that you do get along with, someone you can share your most deepest secrets and emotions with. Actually, this will be a relationship that will make you want to sing. I do feel like that this person could be a part of, you know, the entertainment industry, or you could actually meet this person because singing is something you do love to do. So I feel like even like, maybe like you may meet this person in a store or something because you're just quietly like singing something and this person may say, hey, I love your voice. Um, are you a singer? Something like that. It's not going to be like you singing on a stage or anything like that. It's going to be very random. So let's get more insight. Thank you, Spirit. The happenings about your love life in 2023. What's taking place? And you have here the King of Cups. Wow, look at the King of Cups representing romance here. <laughs> you see? So this is a very strong confirmation showing up here in your reading. Not the King of Cups. This is the Knight of Cups, which is even better. This is about romance. This is about a prince charming. So this relationship is definitely going to have a high element of a deep connection to it where this person is going to be the type of person that will um, lay out a picnic for you, someone that loves to walk on the beach and have nice conversations and hold hands. So this also could bring about a proposal for you in 2023. Let's get more insight. Thank you, Spirit. The happenings about your love life in 2023, the happenings. And you have here the sixth house. Wow, so with the sixth house showing up, representing sustainability, so this is definitely going to be a relationship that does last, okay? And there is going to be something to do with um, health. It's going to be health to do with health, um, a job, a, a routine. So um, this is definitely going to be a relationship where you guys will work out together. This person could also be in the health 
field or industry, something to do with working out, meditation, um, or something like that. They could also um, work in the medical field as well. But nevertheless, um, this relationship is going to be one where you guys both have a daily routine of working out together and taking care of yourselves, drinking green smoothies and things like that. Virgo is the ruler of the sixth house. So Virgo could definitely be a top placement in this person's birth chart, in their sun, moon, or rising, the seventh house of relationships, or the planet Venus. It could be a top placement in your birth chart as well as a confirmation here in this reading. So look out for this Virgo energy. Also, this person is going to be very reliable, very grounded. So also the Knight of Cups energy, I did want to point out that that Cups energy is very strong emotional connectivity energy, water energy seen in Cancer, Pisces, and even a Scorpio energy here. So let's get more insight. So it's going to be a very touchy-feely relationship. Um, this person is going to be very passionate person, very sensitive um, and it's, it's just going to be a relationship where, um, both emotions are fully invested. You both are fully invested into each other. Let's get more insight. Thank you, spirit. And you have here the six of pentacles. So I do love the six of pentacles showing up, especially under the sixth house, because this pentacle energy is earth energy towards Capricorn and Virgo, as mentioned moments earlier. The Six of Pentacles energy is about sharing things that you guys will share together. So this is about giving and receiving energy, um, generosity. So this is going to be a person that is you're going to connect with that's very generous with you, that is going to want to share everything with you. Their finances, as seen here with the Six of Pentacles energy, this is about physical sharing. So they're going to want to share their finances with you, their clothing, their sweatshirt, whatever it is that they have physical, they want to share it with you. So let's get more insight. Thank you, Spirit. All righty. What is happening for you and your relationship, your love life in 2023? You have here the kiss. Wow. Your cards are really just lining up in perfect alignment with the kiss. Again, this is about emotional connectivity, vulnerability, and intimacy. So this is definitely going to be a very romantic relationship, one that is very close be connected and you're going to especially love the way you interchange exchange kisses with this person and so wow this is amazing i do love the confirmation of all of your cards that are showing up here let's get more insight thank you spirit what will take place the happenings in your love life in 2023 you have here the Six of Swords. So with the Six of Swords energy, I can definitely see you moving away from someone else. You have a necessary location, relocation. I do feel like you're pulling your emotions and disconnecting your emotions from a previous relationship, some vision, something you have been, you know, holding on to for quite a while. Maybe some memories finally uh, fading. I do feel like there's a necessary relocation for you in 2023. And this is where you will connect with this new partner. Okay. So let's get more insight. Thank you, spirit. What's happening for you and your love life in 2023. You have here the slave energy. So this is about surrendering your power of choice to the divine with complete trust. So this is about faith. This is about faith in source energy that all is well in your love life and you are surrendering all of the events um, of the person that you're going to connect with. You are understanding that divine intelligence is at work here and you are guided, protected, and loved when it comes to your partners and your lover in 2023. So group one, this does conclude your reading. 
I hope this reading does resonate with you and inspire you. If it does, please leave a comment below because I do love reading your comments. They definitely warm my heart and they make my day. I am sending you lots of love and good energy. Hello, beautiful group number two, and welcome to your reading. I'm Clarity Bay. I'm a psychic tarot intuitive, and I'm dedicated to answering the questions that are most important to you. And in your reading, I'm going to give you clear insight on the happenings of your love life in 2020. Three. What is going to take place for you? Specific events, specific people, the person, what's going to happen? I'm going to share with you everything that Spirit gives to me and not leave anything out. Please take one moment to click that like and subscribe button. Hit that bell notification so that you do not miss an important video message. Let's get into your reading. So I can clearly see here that you are naturally drawn here to the carnelian stone. And with the carnelian stone, this stone represents your root and sacral chakra. It helps to give you even more confidence and power. Empowerment it helps to promote a very positive life. So let's get more insight. You have here, meditate. So with meditate showing up as your first card of attraction, this is a clear indication that this is really going to be a very relaxed time for you when it comes to your lover and your relationships as far as romantic connections. You are just totally, really just unbothered and you are allowing love to come to you. You're not chasing love at all. So let's see what the specifics are regarding this. What's happening for you in 2023 regarding your love? You have here, wow, the judgment card. So with the judgment card, I can definitely see that this is about clarity. Finally, making a decision when it comes to your romantic partnerships. So you will make a decision on someone in 2023. Um, and this person that you will make a decision with, this will be a part of your life purpose, your life path, your journey. Let's get more insight. Thank you, Spirit. What is happening for you in 2023 regarding your love life? And you have here the eighth house, mysterious. So with the eighth house and being mysterious, the eighth house, it does rule over the sign of Scorpio, which represents a death and rebirth, transformation and joint finances. So with Scorpio being here in this reading, this could definitely be a top placement in this person's birth chart. Their sun, moon arising, the planet Venus, the seventh house of relationships. And also, this could be in your birth chart as well as a confirmation here in this reading. But nevertheless, there's someone that is definitely going to show up that is going to be very mysterious, not going to put their private information out on social media. This is someone that is going to be very discreet. And I can see that you are living this way as well. Whereas before you were telling your romantic partners everything about your past life, things that you've, you know, experienced in other relationships. But this time you are keeping hush, hush so that you can really see the true nature of your love partnerships. Let's get more insight. Thank you, Spirit. So what's happening for you in your love life in 2023? And you have here the Hanged Man. So with the Hanged Man energy, I love this card showing up as a confirmation here in your reading. The Hanged Man is definitely about you having really more wisdom Okay, not sacrificing your time, your energy, um, yourself, your money. You are really taking it easy. So this is a nice confirmation with meditating. It's really like you are unbothered, which is why love is going to come to you in a very pure, natural form in 2023 because you are letting go. And when you let go of anything, that's when you start to get more of it. So with the hanged man energy... 
This is also a clear indication that you are seeing love from a new perspective now. So what you have been viewing previously as love or relationships or partnership is totally different for you in 2023. Let's get more insight. Thank you, Spirit. So what's happening for you in love in 2023? And also, I do want to point out with joint finances here, there could very well be a proposal or a marriage that is talked about in 2023 for you. Let's get more insight. But I don't feel like you are going to be anxious about um, that connection. You may like this person a lot and may be really drawn to them and feel connected, but you're not rushing into anything like that. You have here the womb. So with the womb, uh, this is about fertility. This is about growth. So this is about you feeling very attracted to someone in 2023, and they are feeling very attracted to you. This is a nurturing partnership and relationship that will take place that will give birth to other ideas to creative ideas this is going to be about abundance so i do feel like there could be someone that you're very romantically attracted to that will help you to create um and launch things that you are interested in when it comes to your talents and your goals so let's get more insight so this could be like a working relationship as well as a romantic partnership what is happening for you and your love life in 2023? And you have here the Knight of Cups. So there's definitely romance in the air. And I love this card showing up. It definitely correlates with the previous cards here. The Knight of Cups energy is about a Prince Charming sweeping you off your feet in 2023. Romance as well as proposals. And Spirit just gave us that insight moments earlier. So I am loving that. Thank you, Spirit. Let's get more. What's happening for you in 2023? You have here a mystic. So this is wonderful because with the mystic, we did talk about the eighth house representing mystery. And the mystic reveals an intimate union with the divine. So this is really about you letting go and trusting source energy to guide you to the right person, the right partnership, the right relationship. You are trusting divine timing, divine wisdom, and divine guidance. And that is truly what is happening for you. So this relationship will be one that's built on a harmonious union, a trust, and a letting go of your part, not really wanting anything to happen, but just really connecting with the love that you have for yourself. So group two, this does conclude your reading. I hope this reading does resonate with you and inspire you. If it does, please leave a comment below because I do love reading your comments. They definitely warm my heart and they make my day. I am sending you lots of love and good energy. Hello, beautiful number three, and welcome to your reading. I'm Clarity Bay. I'm a psychic tarot intuitive, and I'm dedicated to answering the questions that are most important to you. And in your reading, I'm going to give you clear insight on the happenings of your love life in 2023. The person, certain events, whatever spirit gives to me, I will give to you and not leave anything out. So please take one moment to click that like and subscribe button. Hit that bell notification so that you do not miss an important video message. Let's get straight into your reading. So I can see here that you have chosen the clear quartz crystal. With the clear quartz crystal, this crystal does represent the crown chakra. And this crystal is very high vibrational. It's very good for amplifying your energy and for helping you to connect with your intuitive gifts and your belief systems. So let's see what card you are naturally attracted to. And you have here, use your hands. So with use your hands, I can definitely see that in 2023 that you definitely could connect with someone 
in a way where you are using your hands, okay? Because I do see that there is a gift with your hands. So you could be a baker, um, an artist, or even like a sculptor as seen here, or you could also be like a hair designer or something like that. So it's going to have to do with something in the arts, something around your hands, even a massage therapist. I do feel like this person is going to notice your hands and say how beautiful your hands are. Your hands are going to stand out to this person because you are using them at the time that you do form this deeper connection. Let's get more insight. What's happening for you in 2023 regarding your love life? You have here the Three of Wands. So with the Three of Wands energy, this Wands energy is fire sign energy. Sagittarius, Leo, and Aries in the sun, moon, or rising, the planet Venus, or that seventh house of relationships. And that other person's chart that you are going to deeply connect with or your birth chart as a confirmation here in this reading. But with the Three of Wands showing up, I love this. Number one, because the Three of Wands represents the group that you did pick. You picked number three. So that is a nice confirmation already. So three, three is very powerful here for you. This is about teamwork. So this is going to be someone that you're going to collaborate with. And this is a nice correlation with use your hands. Thank you, spirit. Someone you'll collaborate with, someone that you will help um, build uh, like money together, commerce, make money, grow a business with and travel with as well. So this is someone that's going to connect with you on a creative level. Let's get more insight. Thank you, spirit. So what's happening with you and your love life in 2023? You have here Taurus, cultivate so I love Taurus showing up. It, it is ruled by the planet Venus, the planet of love. And we are speaking about a, a love relationship here. Taurus, of course, could be very prominent here in this relationship, your birth chart or their birth chart. But nevertheless, this partnership is going to be about growth. It's going to be about love. It's going to be about beauty here. Um, growing things, money, luxury. So that's a nice confirmation here as seen with this Three of Wands energy. Also here, Taurus is how this relationship is going to vibe. So it's going to be a loyal relationship, uh, very grounded, very practical, and you can rely on this person that you are going to connect with. They are very reliable. You can trust them and you can believe what they say because their actions do match the words that they speak. Let's get more insight. What's happening for you in 2023 regarding your relationships? And you have here the Ten of Wands. So the Ten of Wands showing up is more fire sign energy. Sagittarius, Leo, and Aries. But with this Ten of Wands energy, this is bringing like a lot of um, things that you will have to do. So it makes perfect sense with you collaborating this per with this person, maybe working together with this person. It's going to feel a bit stressful, like you guys have a lot to do as well as cultivate and grow your relationship. So let's get more insight. Thank you, Spirit. What's happening with your relationship in 2023? You have here the point. So expressing your soul insights with a symbolic language. So this is how, this is your love language for your relationship. So it's about a poetic relationship where this is your relationship is expressed by the things that you do with each other creatively, business-wise, and the things that you do for each other rather than just saying things. So how you create creatively. I do love the poet energy showing up naturally under use your hands. So this person is definitely artistically inclined, um, could be in the arts as well, and um, could be a writer. 
a singer, a rapper, something like that. But their their gift is very poetic, very nice, very beautiful. Could also be an artist. And so this is how you'll communicate with each other. Let's get more insight. Thank you, Spirit. So what is happening in your love life in 2023? Wow, the cave. I love the cave showing up. So you can believe that no one is getting in the way of your relationship at all. This is about you and this other person. You are very protective of each other. And this is a warm, cozy relationship for you. This is someone that you can truly talk to about your intimate feelings, express how you feel, um, and they can do the same with you. This is a very comfortable relationship setting. Let's get more insight. What is happening in your relationship in 2023? And you have here the temperance. So with the temperance card, I can definitely tell you that this temperance energy is really giving a balance. It's giving harmony, patience, a self-control, and moderation. And you see, Taurus did show up here in your reading, which represents that grounded, reliable energy. So that is really what this relationship is about, where you two are very patient together. It's balanced because this person has what you desire naturally, and you have what they have naturally. There is no forcing here when it comes to how you do interact. So it is also one of moderation. It's not going to move very fast as seen here with the sign Taurus, which moves very slow and gracefully. This is one that's going to move very fast. You're going to take your time and build this relationship. So group three, this does conclude your reading. I hope this reading does resonate with you and inspire you. If it does, please leave a comment below because I do love reading your comments. They definitely warm my heart and make my day. I am sending you lots of love and good energy.